this is Project Reveal and we're at uh, the Exchange pub in Rotherham. And this is Alicia, who is the owner. Manager. Manager, <laughs> should I say. Um, and we're going to spend a couple of hours here down the cellar and then we're going to go upstairs later. Um, but what we need to know is kind of what you've, what you've seen or felt here. It's not so much me as it has been other people. I think I've just been just shut myself off from it because I'm so used to um, noises and stuff being living in the building. Um, <coughs> I've been here just over four years, and there's times where I've come down here by myself and I'll be down here for hours at a time. But you know, again with sellers, you're gonna get noises. There's the beer, there's the beer pumps going, and there's the um, the coolers going, and there's all because it's such an old building. Again, it used to be. Um, the old sorting office. Um, Do you know much dates about how, how old the building is? Or no, I just know that it's been the exchange for five years. It was um, Yates' is 15 years prior to that, mm -hmm. for 15 years. And then I don't know how long it was closed for, but it was a sorting office for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've looked on the internet to find out a bit about it, and all I'm, I I'm know is that. Out. Well, I found out that uh, it was opened as a post office in 1907, officially. Uh, and then it was a post office up until about the 1950s, until the building across the road was opened. Um, prior to that, I think it was still a building, but I'm not sure if it was the post office, because across the road you had the baths as well, which also had a free public library inside it, which was a very similar looking building until they knocked it down. But we've had a lot of things go upstairs as well, haven't you? Upstairs, yeah. the kitchen area? Uh, the kitchen area mainly. Um, like, I'll just be speaking. I, I won't be facing it, it's, it's everybody else that sees it. Mm -hmm. Um, like I did, one of my old staff members, we was just chatting one day, and he was just, he just stopped, just stopped, and he went someone in the kitchen, and there was only me and him in the building because we'd shut, shut for the day, and he saw just someone in the kitchen, and then um, someone spoke to our old chef, um, and they just asked her what she was doing washing the pots at ten o'clock at night because they'd gone past the window, mm -hmm. and she finished work at four in the afternoon, and there's, we never used the kitchen, yeah, you know, so there was no one in the kitchen at the time. I remember the day. Um, the, the specific day that this person was on about, and they just says, "Oh, what was Sharon doing in the kitchen at, you know, ten o'clock at night washing pots?" And there was nobody in there. Mm -hmm. And then I was in there making a brew uh, with a friend of mine, and she again stopped in the tracks and said, "Someone just walked past me." I mean, I noticed you've got CCTV yeah. as well. Have you ever noticed anything? Uh, I see, like sometimes when I take it off. Obviously, it's the end of the night. Lights are all off upstairs. So um, I, I do watch for things and I see orbs or anomalies or whatever they're called or mm. dust. Yeah. Could be anything, couldn't it? I do see that, but I've never seen um, figures or shadows or anything in my time here. Right, that's fair. I hear a lot. Um, I feel a bit, but I see nothing. Mm -hmm. So. Well, hopefully, I mean, tonight, I mean, we're not promising anything. Yeah. Um, we know it's been a bit of, you know, last minute planning uh, and I know you've got people in upstairs, so that's why we're going to start downstairs. Yeah. Uh, time permitting, we'll see what we can do. We've got cameras set up downstairs, and we've got one set upstairs, haven't we, yeah, in the kitchen? Yeah, in the kitchen, yeah. Um, Ozzy, we'll see what he can pick up on. So if me, you, Ozzy, have a wander around, and then you can tell us about the areas down here first, Yeah. and then eventually we'll, we'll pop upstairs. And just for like um, the record as well, I've switched all things off down here that can make a noise. Yeah, fans and things like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, that's no problem. Right. Yeah. Right, Ozzy, I don't know if you uh, if you picked up on anything. If you want to. Uh, yeah, when I first walked in, uh, I got the sense of a woman. Uh, I I couldn't think where she where she was taking me to. Uh, but when I walked into the kitchen, I picked up a gentleman and a woman. The woman's name I got was Michelle, and the bloke's name was called Derek. Uh, since then, Derek has been leading me towards a picture and has been sh putting an image in front of me. Uh, we've come into this back room, which has been locked all the time, and we found the picture. And it's a picture, what I'm led to believe, what used to be a shop before the post office took took it over and everything. And uh, it's coming really strong to me and making me tell you yeah, that it. It used to be a shop and everything. Uh, I'm also picking up another gentleman. As I was coming down the stairs, uh, I picked up the. I didn't see him. I saw. Uh, I picked up the residue of a gentleman, which, which was leading me upstairs. Upstairs at the time, I didn't know where it was, but I've been informed by Alicia that it's a flat. Uh, whether it's part of the 
post office, I'm not quite sure, but he's he's dominant as well. It used to be the uh, offices. But the energies and pick it pick it up upstairs, we can get drawn to is two energies. Uh, as I've come down here, uh, I've picked up on the same residue of the gentleman who were leading up towards the flat. Uh, I haven't had a good look round down here, but as night goes on, I'll be able to pick up more and be able to tell you more and everything. Uh, if Simon, do you want to show me a picture? And I'll show him a picture of what I was talking about. This is the picture what I was getting drawn to. Uh, like I said before, this room was locked off before we came in, so I, I couldn't have seen it. And this is what I got drawn to. And if you can see, it is like a bar, but it isn't a bar, it's actually a shop. And that's what I've got so far.